After your case is documentarily qualified, what happens next? Hi, my name is Audra Doyle and I'm the owner and attorney of Doyle Law here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about the third step of consular processing, which is when your case is qualified at the National Visa Center and it is time for the case to go over to the embassy. Now in these days, 2022, that is not as simple as it used to be. The reason why it is not as simple is that several embassies are extremely bad Backed up. I would say more than several. Many embassies are extremely backed up. So let me give you an example to start. I have a case and the embassy is Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa Ethiopia. Uh, we received the notification from the National Visa Center. They've received all our forms, all our money, all of our documents. Everything was received in October 2020. And just this month, it is July 2022, I have received the interview notices for that embassy. And you're, people say, why? Why, Audra? Why is it taking so long? What is NVC doing? Well, it's actually not the National Visa Center's fault. Um, they cannot send a case over to the embassy until the embassy says, we're ready for more cases. We can handle another case. Please send us some new cases. So the National Visa Center has to put your case on on hold until the embassy itself tells them that it can accept another case for processing and for the interview. So I know that Addis Ababa has really been struggling both with COVID and with a lot of fighting in that country uh, between two groups, and that has affected the embassy's processing times. Um, other embassies that we are seeing really huge backlogs have also been severely affected by COVID and by unrest in the region, such as Islamabad. All the folks who were in Afghanistan and who had cases in Kabul Embassy in Afghanistan, all those cases have been moved over to Islamabad. And so now we are seeing the effects of that. Islamabad is overwhelmed with casework. It simply is not able to keep up with the numbers of cases that need to be sent to that embassy. So people say, um, it's finished, it's documentarily qualified, what's next? Why is my case not moving? Don't look to the National Visa Center, look to the embassy and start figuring out, is there a delay at the embassy? A lot of times you can go to their main website and it will have information right there on the front page or in the visa section that will tell you what the current status is of interviews in those places. I hope that this information has been helpful to all of you. Don't forget to also go check me out over on TikTok and Facebook. Be sure to click subscribe here on YouTube and also the bell so that you get notifications about any new videos.